Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wes. Feel free to stick around for all those that are new and everyone else. Welcome back to Staxel Adventures. I guess today I have a few things kind of I wanted to get going and figuring out, but I guess other than that, let's get started. So now, one of them I wanted to do first uh, as per needed. Where did I put my? There we go. I'm like, did I get rid of my watering can already? <laughs> you know, it takes five seconds. All right. So, oh, these are done. Hey. Okay. Perfect. Um, we just got an achievement for harvesting our first crop. Uh, well, I guess that kind of pushes everything off uh, just a tad bit. I was gonna say we can wait for our crops to grow. Uh, but now that they're here, let's actually just go ahead and take care of them. We'll sell ten. Grab a little extra more. Grab a little extra more. Grab some more. And then we'll, we'll, we'll plant them right back in. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all those that have been coming along, subscribing, and continuing just to join this uh, this, this funny adventure that I'm I'm having. Okay, so there we go. That's what I'm looking for before we go and buy stuff. So let's go ahead and just sell those. Perfect. Uh, not bad. Not bad. I mean, we kind of doubled our money because I saw we were at 18 or 800 something. Okay, what did we need? Was there a tool we needed? I know we have a net. Uh, we don't need anything there. Okay. Did we... We're trying to build a barn, so, I mean, that's still a thing. I could have sworn there was something I needed. Oh, well. Well, let's see. So, we're in the fifth day of spring. That means... No. Get, no. Put those back. Um. Okay, you know what? Actually, that's right. I forgot. That's how you do it here. Uh, grow six days in spring. Okay. You know what? And those cost a little bit. And so in this game, for those that are new, uh, the more expensive the crop is, the better yield it will give. Um, so it's kind of just something to do or get in the habit of is checking to make sure, A, that the seeds will grow in the season you're currently in. Like, for instance, six days in spring. Or you are you can find a crop that will grow kind of in each. And those are perfect to grow, you know, towards the end of a certain um a certain season before going into the next one if that makes sense so let's go ahead and let's just plant all of our sweet potatoes i think is what i grabbed we're gonna need i think no this is exactly 15 well who would have thought who would have thought that my three by five is 15 all right well i mean i think that's plenty enough for that um over here i can definitely see where we're working on the barn uh oh no scythe that's what we're missing it's a scythe right yeah. Dang it, there was something. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm all over the place because this the crops being done kind of threw me all over. All right, Tiger, I know. That's what I remember to do. You are hungry. All right, so that's the last of that. Oh, I just fed it right to you. No! So... Oh, no, okay, good. I put it in the bowl. So if you feed it right to them, which you can, you, it, it takes up the entirety of, of everything. In regards to, it's no longer just two meals, it's just the one, because you just kind of, like, shove it in their face. It's like, here's your entire bag of food, eat it now! Uh, at least, you know, that's how I figured it would go, versus just putting in a bowl. Yeah, whatever, Oscar. Okay, scythe, that's what we need. Do we even have enough money for it? Okay, good, it's only 30 petals. I was gonna say, we spent all our money in farming, and now we won't have enough. Well, remind me to connect this. We're going to connect this somehow. Either we'll make it square, and we'll connect it down, or we'll make a diagonal from there, just touching there. So uh, we don't have to keep walking across grass. All right. So, Scythe, we're going to clear out some space of the barn. And we're going to kind of just figure out a barn design that's different from what people want me to do, but is still functional in regards to meeting the criteria that the game wants for the barn. Um, You know, I, I don't know how to... <laughs> You know, it, it's kind of hard to not make a barn look like a barn, or not make a carbon copy of a barn, because, I mean, a, a barn is just that it's, I mean, it's a barn. <laughs> you, you know, it's just one of those buildings where, although, you know, you can you can have a ton of freedom in regards to how you want to build it, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's literally just supposed to be a small kind of, well, not necessarily small, but it's just supposed to be big enough to... Fit a few animals, you know, and keep them dry. So, last season what I do is I ended up building this kind of like this, or exactly like this, and then I think it was like seven or eight, and then I made a pointed roof, uh, just so that it, it's, uh, I don't know, just so it looks good. 
So is this even? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. Okay, we want this even. So, however, uh, the reason being is because uh, if there's a space, let me see, did I do it here? No. <laughs> I anticipated when I was building this. So you see how these roofs come to a nice point, and there's really no no space in between those two top blocks, which makes it look like a good point, or I should say an actual roof. Uh, that's because the buildings are even in regards to width, and and length only implies to the side of the roof, and it doesn't matter how long it is. Anyways, it's important that if you want that same point without having a brick in the middle, do I have any stairs to demonstrate this? No. Um, that that's how you would do it. Um, so in this case, I guess we're gonna move this all over one now, since you know I, I can remedy it pretty easily. So there we go. Those two will be touching. That's now that room. Or not room, but that's the wall now. Okay, so this is already different in regards to kind of how this looks. Um, you know, I'm kind of thinking, hmm, okay, hear me out. What if we, do? I can see how I can do it a little bit differently. What if we kind of take this entire side, right? And make it into like a mega barn. And then we'll put stalls in it for the different animals. So, for instance, the uh, cows will get kind of a bigger one, the sheep, and then... So on and so forth, and then what we can end up doing is just moving this fence line over uh, as needed to give the animals more and more room to kind of live and survive. Okay, I like that idea. I think that's how we're going to do it. In this case, we're going to kind of set this up in... Let me see this manner. Okay, why can't I... It's not axe? No, it is axe. Okay, not sure what I was doing there. Okay, so I think that's a good width. Okay, so we need one, two... We'll do it four... Uh, for now, actually, hmm, we actually could let's see one, two, three, four, put that there and then cover this up. Um, so the cows would just come out kind of right where their food is. And then, um, you kind of, kind of, I can kind of wall it off if you see what I mean like that. And so now we know that this is, this part is entirely the, the cows, right? So this is where they'll be able to come in to sleep or to eat, and that should be enough room for two cows, which is what we're gonna get. And then, you know, the rest we can make uh, bigger when we have more sheep or more chickens or, or anything, um, kind of something like that. So let's make this, I don't know, five blocks high, one, two. Whoa, 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 <laughs> three, four, five. And then copy that on that side. Okay, and now what I'm thinking of is we leave this pretty open. Um, one to save blocks, but two just because, I mean, it can have mass windows, and I like leaving natural light in. Um, maybe we'll continue this same kind of concept down below. Let's just for right now at least get um, the cow's little part of the barn set up. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's a little funky design. I don't think we have to go quite like that, but if I were going to mimic it, that would go there, and then now you can kind of see in between the two barns. But that means the cows can get in and which and out, which is fine for right now. I mean, it doesn't need to be like that. Um, but in this case, we'll just let it be. So I don't obviously have roofing blocks, and so I do plan to finish this on my own. So what I'm going to end up doing is just kind of building the framework right now, and then we'll worry about kind of finalizing the barn uh, further, either next episode or um, off camera, if you guys don't want to see too much building. I'm still trying to find a happy medium with all of this. Okay, so you guys can always let me know which you, you know, what more of what you want to see and what less of you want to see. Um, just so we can, like I said, so I can help, you can help me and I can help you guys kind of just show you what you want. Okay, so that should be that as far as <laughs> a roof. In all honesty, if I, were to come, if I were to come over to this sign right here, and we're done, right? I mean, like I said, it was literally, it just wants blocks somewhere within it. And then you just put troughs and it's like, yeah, that's enough. You can do that. Um, okay, so I'm not going to fill in the center of this barn with a bunch of these blocks. Only because, do I have any dirt on me? Perfect. I need some scaffolding. Because that's what the, we'll take care of the stairs, right? So what I'm having in mind, let's kind of see if we can kind of scope this out ahead of time. Since we're just going to put more of a foundation. So what I'm going to do is build it like this, right? So that would be cows, and then over here, um, I mean, it's it's too small right now to put really anything else, but then that's where we can put, like, a sheep or a pig, whichever one we end up getting first, and then, you know, we can kind of make it a little bit smaller, right? So, like, start there, and then go down right there, and then we extend the, fan the fence out, and there's chickens, right? So it's just, like, this multi-tiered 
uh, barn with more and more add-ons as we go along. So I'm going to keep these here for more point of reference than anything else. Um, in fact, let me just rip this up. Let's actually rip up. No, actually, I, I can't. I need to leave that like that now. Um, so the, the, the animals don't just run over and run out. Okay, so as I've been just kind of thinking and, and kind of talking, let's... Wow, so I'm, I must be used to playing other games where you literally just jump up, not over, because I keep overshooting everything. Okay, so let's mimic this. So we'll go there, and then this needs to go not there, but here. Is that going to make that even? Yeah, because it's on... It's both on the outskirts. Oh, I see how I'm doing this. Okay, there, I guess. And then, oh, that's already like that. That's there. That's there. That's there. There. I did this wrong. <laughs> Clearly, because I'm like, it came to an odd number. Okay, so that's where. This is non-existent, because this needs to be moved over a tad bit. Perfect. Okay, so now this should be... There, ah, there's my mistake. So there, there, there. And then this one, yeah, no, this one. This one and this one get ripped up, I believe. Yeah, and so that should match. <laughs> um, you know, just a little, we'll worry about this. We're just trying to get this up and then we'll stop. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then this copies from there to that and no all right well i'll figure it out later because again what reina what are you doing here raya ma, do cats always in their senses with ma? no no just sometimes ma, ma. okay oh did you give us the quest to build your fishing no Ooh, spoilers for those west man too i need you to build me a fishing spot spoilers <laughs> sorry oh dang it oscar can jump over too Oh, that would explain how you got over here. Okay, we need to make our wall higher. If you don't, I might just cry more. You don't want that, do you? You use the signpost to designate the area for it. You can build it up here on the pond or the ocean. It doesn't really matter. It actually does. Just let me fish more. All right, there's all the blood. Here's all the blueprints needed to make the pots, more. There's three main items you'll need. You can probably find the barrel laying around the farm somewhere. Or you could always buy a blueprint from the build and store and make it yourself. Making the fish rack will probably get... Uh, <clears throat> the fish rack will probably be the easiest, Mara. The build and store has everything you need for that. I suspect hard parts will be the bait box, Mara. The most important part, though, man. I think you might be able to buy the combination station from the grocery store. Grocery store? <laughs> and build, the, the build and store should sell the carving station, though. Y'all can also need to find some bug net. Oh, um, find a bug net. Uh, in the store and catch some bugs. Don't worry if you forget all parts you need. Once you put down the sign, you can look at it and see what you're missing. I'm positive you'll get it just right. All right. So here's why it matters. For again, those that are new, that's where we're putting it. So you build this fishing spot and now it's all nice and set up, but then you want to go fish at it, right? And then let's say you did put it in the ocean. Now you have to run all the way over there. Oh my gosh, is that a pond on the hill? Oh, we might have to do that. Uh, although this is a bigger pond and it's close to my house. So that's why it matters, in, in my opinion, so that you can also use it. Did I water these? I'm kind of all over the place in this episode. All right. Oh, oh, cool. Now these like light up in your inventory. Oh, that's new. All right. Learn the blueprint. Learn the blueprint. And let's actually, let's go put down the sign. I know we're not even done building one thing. Um, but let's at least just go put the sign down here. Yeah, it's just, today's just full of adventures, and I can't really get anything done, it feels like. So this is a really nice size pond. I actually really like it. This should be perfect size uh, for building kind of like a fishing spot. And so in this case, we'll put this down, and you'll see once again, you know, you get the bounding box that lets you know what it needs to be in and how big, you know, you can build within it. So you see just like such. And then it tells you kind of everything you need, right? You need wood blocks to, or yeah, wood planks or wood blocks to make it look like it's a... Uh, a dock or something and then you need a fishing rack bait barrel and a barrel and 14 water blocks which that's why it also does matter and that's done so we'll take care of that at another time uh, for now we'll just need to remind ourselves that we put it there so if i ever forget just let me go you know you guys it's your job you gotta remind me like hey west did you remember to do this and be like oh you're right okay so this monstrosity Look, I, I said I'm, I wasn't going to leave it, but I mean, this is bugging me. I, I got I just got to fix this one sec, guys. And then we're going to go get the cows. Okay, so this needs to be here. Grab all of those. Good thing for, like, infinite reach. That needs to be there. 
then this becomes two, and then build up from there, and then build up from there. Meaning that needs to go there. Yep. So that's there. Perfect. And then this needs to be down from here. One over. Um, yep. It helps if you actually do it properly. And now... Whoops. Well, you get the idea. It's it's done. It's, it's even. I really hope it's even. Because <laughs> uh, it looks like it's off, but it's not. It's just how it looks. Okay, so that's done. So let's go ahead and talk to Eliza. No, the mayor. I think it's the mayor. Or she wanted us to talk to her after it was done. I don't remember who, who wants who to talk to who or me or whatever. Okay, so let's go to the mayor. Let's beeline for him because I think he's the one that goes, Oh, I think you've built a barn that's fabulous. Here's the cows. That's what I'm thinking, you know, he's going to say. But what do I know? Okay, Maximilian. I've been looking. Oh, I've been hearing about the fabulous. Oh my gosh. Okay. In all honesty, I probably subconsciously remembered that, but that's not what I thought he's going to say. Fabulous new barn you built. Sounds like everything is in order. Oh, here's my cows. Here are a few cows we managed to round up. They all um uh, they all ran away when the previous owner left. Good luck. Oh, by the way, you've been looking for good builders for a long time. Sometimes we notice we notice uh we get notices from people who want to move in here. But before that, they need to build a house to live in. Give an impressive work on the barn. We'd love your help. Come and chicken every meal as well. No requests can usually come in every few weeks or so. In the meantime, it might be a good idea just to get to know everyone. He's just sadly, he's just slowly and slower getting quieter and quieter and sadder. Uh, there's bound to be something I'm looking for assistance. I know Raya has been moping around quite a bit ever since she arrived. <laughs> That's so wrong, it's not his voice. Uh, she's bound to have a task for you. If that doesn't appeal to you, then you can always head off exploring or kick back and look after your farm. It's up to you, it's all up to you now, really. We just want to see what you make of the place. Oh, before I forget, I recently managed to get to post delivered here into the town. You need to set this up in a post box to access your mail. Oh, we got mail. You could be even getting mail already. He's psychic, ladies and gentlemen, psychic. Okay, so we're gonna throw this back down. We're going to then, where's my fences? Okay, good. We gotta cap this off, throw them down, throw down the mailbox, call it an episode. Okay, well, let's do this real quick. I know we can finish it, but not in that order. So order of operation would dictate, put the fence down. Now let our awesome cows out. There they go. Okay, who do we got? We got Autumn and M Musilla. Ah, no, no, that's gonna be Musilla. Ah, bringing in Musilla. Okay, so for those that <laughs> see that it says Melissa, uh, you'll have to go to season one to, to kind of get the idea of what's going on there. But I'm sure some of you coming over know. If you don't like these names, then I'm going to go ahead and do what I did last season, which is uh, comment some names down below, right? We're going to keep... You know, keep the names, move them, change them, whatever you guys want, move them. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's let's get some, let's try to get five names, right, for each. So I want ten names. Go ahead and comment down below uh, so we can get that going. We'll worry about mail the other time because I don't want to waste too much of the time uh, being passed on the floor when we can just get it for next episode. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning into this episode today. For those that are staying to the end, you guys are awesome, and I hope you guys always remember that. And that's all I got for today. So until next time, guys, as always, keep it real.